All right, while I had the sabers out, I wanted to review a couple of other ones really quick. These are also among my favorite designs. Um, I can't say I'm a huge fan of the prequels, the prequel Star Wars films, but they did have some really good lightsaber hilt designs. Um, really quick, here's a figure arts. So you have a size comparison for how big these things are. Um, Count Dooku's here is about as long as Common Rider Verde. Anyway, uh, let's start with this one. I really like that it's actually labeled as Darth Tyrannus's lightsaber. Um, if I recall correctly, and seeing that I'm a bit of a nerd about this sort of a thing, I'm pretty sure that they released an Episode 2 version of this one uh, that was labeled as Count Dooku's lightsaber, then the Episode 3 one they relabeled as Darth Tyrannus's. And I think it's identical except for, I think this elbow might be a bronzish colored plastic instead of metal. I think that's the only difference. I like the curved saber hilt design. Um, I like the rubber grip here, the alternating with the aluminum or the metal. Uh, looks like it's a little dusty. Anyway, it's just a cool, cool saber design. I like the little red trigger there the emitter with the weird hooking thing, even though the way this is lined up the lightsaber would... It seems like the blade would cut off part of it, but anyway really cool hilt design. Um, you can see it's about as long as my hand, not really, not quite. Um, I also really really like Darth Sidious's lightsaber. The, th the thing I consistently like about the prequels was everything with Chancellor, Emperor, Palpatine, Darth Sidious. And this hilt design is really cool. I love the purplish aluminum color, the the silver, the gold. Uh, I like the red and green buttons, I guess. That would be L could be LEDs. It's got a very brassy, not glossy emitter. It's short. It's very, you know, distinct size. It's it's just such a unique looking hilt. It's got a weird, almost pointy thing there. The only problem with these sabers, again, <clears throat> is that especially ones like Sidious's, Sidious's, that is such, made of such shiny metal, is that they will, they'll show fingerprints really easily. That's the only bad thing about them, that you want to have curator gloves or wipe them off every time you touch them, because you don't want to tarnish the, the finish or leave fingerprints on it. Since I like that hilt design so much, I did pick up this black chrome uh, Best Buy exclusive Darcidius Saber Hilt. I don't know how well it's coming across, but it's actually a very dark chrome. And other than that, it's exactly the same. It does even have the red and green plastic there for the LEDs, or I guess pseudo LEDs. Um, I don't remember if this was a promotion or giveaway with with it. I don't anyway I bought this after the fact I don't know how Best Buy sold it marketed it but uh, it was one you could get cheap on eBay because a lot of people didn't care for the dark chrome a whole lot certainly this one is better looking but it's kind of fun to have two versions of it since I like it so much oh there was one negative with Dooku's saber or Darth Tyrannus's and that is due to the length it actually doesn't fit super great inside one of these your displays. You actually have to have the base outside of the, the little indentation so that the acrylic cover can can go over it. Otherwise it, it'll bump one of the ends. Not a huge deal, but in the interest of, I don't know, completeness. Anyway, Master Replicas, scaled lightsaber replicas. I'm a big fan of the line. I was really disappointed that it ended when it did, like I said in the last one, that they didn't finish the last Darth Vader hilt design. There were some other ones that they could have done that they, they released in the full size line, like uh, I think they did Myra Jade's saber. I think they may have even got Ahsoka's out before they lost the license. I can't remember. They did a couple other Jedi that they didn't make in the scaled line, which was too bad because it was so much more affordable, such a smaller display footprint that it was it was a really good line for me personally. So, thanks for watching.